this is going to be a public relations, trust your government and your health officials, public campaign. You know, there's no conspiracy here, folks. Just right. get your damn vaccine. Right. Listen to our government agencies. These guys are telling the truth. Forget the conspiracy. Just right. get your damn vaccine. Right. Just right. get your damn vaccine. Right. Now, because of this flu season being so important, certain states, including our state, New York State, are actually making it mandatory for health care workers right. to get vaccinated against both seasonal flu and H1N1. This is going to be a public relations, trust your government and your health officials, public campaign. It is very, very important, especially for health care workers, because traditionally only about 40 percent of health care workers get vaccinated. And we are excellent, Anna. We are the vectors of spread for this virus. Right. In addition, you don't want your doctor himself or herself to be mm -hmm. sick. So very important for health care workers. We should strive for close to 100 percent compliance. There you go. Anna, did you get your shot yet? Yes. 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 Okay. Yesterday. Just, just right. get your damn vaccine. But we trusted the scientists back in 1976 with the original swine flu shot. And, a lot and of it was a debacle. Sick. Right. Not only that, some people died. Some people were paralyzed. From the shot itself. And yeah. people remember the swine flu vaccine as a terrible disaster. Remember the swine flu scare of 1976? That was the year the U.S. government told us all that swine flu could turn out to be a killer that could spread across the nation. And Washington decided that every man, woman, and child in the nation should get a shot to prevent a nationwide outbreak, a pandemic. Well, 46 million of us obediently took the shot. And now 4,000 Americans are claiming damages from Uncle Sam amounting to three and a half billion dollars because of what happened when they took that shot. By far the greatest number of the claims, two-thirds of them, are for neurological damage or even death. Dr. David Sensor, then head of the CDC, the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, is now in private industry. He devised the swine flu program and he pushed it. Did anyone ever come to you and say, you know something, fellas? There's the possibility of neurological damage if you get into a mass immunization program. No. No one ever did? No. Do you know Michael Hatwick? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Michael Hatwick directed the surveillance team for the swine flu program at the CDC. His job was to find out what possible complications could arise from taking the shot and to report his findings to those in charge. Did you know ahead of time, Dr. Hatwick, that there had been case reports of neurological disorders, neurological illness, apparently associated with the injection of influenza vaccine? Absolutely. You did? Yes. How'd you know that? A review of the literature. What would you say if I told you that your superiors say that you never told them about the possibility of neurological complications? That's nonsense. I can't believe that they would say that they did not know that there were neurological illnesses associated with influenza vaccination. That simply is not true. We did know that. You didn't feel it was necessary to tell the people that information? Uh, I think that uh, over the, the years we have tried to inform the American people as, as fully as possible. Listen to our government agencies. These guys are telling the truth. You know, there's no conspiracy here, folks. Just right. get your damn vaccine. During major flu epidemics, millions of people are sick and thousands die. Well, this year you can get protection. The vaccines are safe, easy to take, and they can protect you against flu. So roll up your sleeve. Protect yourself. One of those who did roll up her sleeve was Judy Roberts. She was perfectly healthy, an active woman, when in November of 1976, she took her shot. Two weeks later, she says, she began to feel a numbness starting up her legs. I joked about it at that time. I said, I'll be numb to the knees by Friday as it just keeps up. By the following week, I was totally paralyzed. So completely paralyzed, in fact, that they had to operate on her to enable her to breathe. And for six months, Judy Roberts was a quadriplegic. The diagnosis? A neurological disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome, GBS for short. These neurological diseases are little understood. They affect people in different ways. As you can see in these home movies taken by a friend, Judy Roberts' paralysis confined her mostly to a wheelchair for over a year. But this disease can even kill. Indeed, there are 300 claims now pending from the families of GBS victims who died. Judy, why did you take the flu shot? I'd never taken any other flu shots, but I felt like this was going to be a major epidemic. 
and the only way to prevent a major epidemic of a, a really deadly variety of flu was for everybody to be immunized. I don't want to have that kind of vaccination in my child yet until I know it's safe, 100% safe. You would be heartbroken if you did not vaccinate your child and that child got sick with influenza and found that your child was in the hospital close to death. But moms like Corey Bureau still aren't sold. I don't feel just because the government's telling me that I need to get this you know, flu shot for her or my, my youngest that I should go and do that. The challenge for public officials? Convincing the public to heed their advice instead of a mother's intuition. Well, for more on how the United States is applying those very lessons, I spoke a brief time ago with Dr. William Schaffner, who chairs the Department